So, uh, you have a friend that, uh, that started experimenting with harder drugs. Yes. And uh, I guess he, his path in life just went not in a good direction. Yeah. Uh, can, you, can you tell me a little bit about that? I was horrible. It was it was weird, man. Um, really good friend of mine. Fucking love, love the guy. It was uh, it's just weird, you know, having having a friend that gets into uh, gets into heroin. It's, it's it's weird, man. Like you know, you think about being in high school, and, you know, just being dumb, you know. But it was it never got to the point where we were like getting needles or anything crazy like that. We never we never did anything like that. You know, we drink, we smoke, nothing like that, and then. You know, you lose contact with the guy for a couple of years when I was in the military, and uh, get back a hold of him, and it's just like you're, I'm a heroin addict. It's like, what? you know, um, he went, he had a lot of trouble. That was like one of the worst parts of his life, and it was kind of scary for um, the rest of us who hung out with him. It was, it was kind of selfish of us to be as scared as we were about it because we didn't want to lose him, but. Um, it's a fucking horrible thing. It's it's weird. It's it's hard to describe. It's it's like this concept that your friend's gonna kill himself. It's like having a friend who's who's gonna be on the suicide watch, and it could be any moment that he goes out and just offs himself, and like nobody had heard from him in a while, and then there was just all these rumors going around, and then suddenly I hear from him, and he was okay, but it was just that time. That was it was a fucking nightmare, man. It was it was a nightmare. It was horrible. Um, do you know what I, he's doing now? He's good. He's good. Uh, he's writing now. Um, he's actually one of the smarter friends I have. He's really into uh, weird music. Really weird music. And um, he's doing good. So he's back on the straight and narrow? As straight and narrow as any one of my friends could be. I'm not going to yeah. say that my friends are total squares, bro. But, um, yeah. How do you... Um, He's on, he's on the straight now and he's doing good and that's all that matters to me. No matter what he does in life as long as he's not shooting things in his arm, I'm happy. Uh, during during the time when everything was going kind of out of control with him and you yep. knew about it, how did that affect you? Personally? Uh, I guess personally it, it, it did affect me a little bit. I was a little bit more depressed and worried than, than usual. Um, I kind of wanted to talk to his parents about it. but. And again, that's not really my place. Uh, I've talked to other friends about it that knew about it to try and work things out and just kind of talk to each other because it felt good, you know, just to be able to talk to somebody else, you know, share what was going on. Uh, but uh, as, as it affected me, it was no way and how it affected him. It was just that fear, you know. I, I don't know. Uh, fear for another person? It's like a brother, man. It's somebody you were raised with, you know, just thinking about, like, any moment he could just be gone you know it's the most selfish thing I've ever wanted like I, I wanted to hit him you know I was so angry at him but I wanted to hit him and I knew I was being selfish but I didn't feel like it was fair it's not fair to me I don't want to lose a friend but he he did it for himself and that's what matters how old were you when, when this all happened um, 22 23 okay, 22 23 just when everything's kind of starting out for everyone and, uh, 